you're in life on life discipleship, which is what you're describing. It's a relationship. Yeah. You talk about spiritual things. Um, there's no playbook, right? Right. The classic theologians um, from history tried to write a playbook. I think it's pretty useful, but conversation can go crazy. And sort of what you described reminded me of it. So you could be talking about sin or God. You know, there's God. I'm not sure who he is. Then she even got to, the Bible says this, but that was written by man. Well, the classicists, that's why they, they did <clears throat> theology in a specific order. Remember, you don't need to remember the words, but prolegomena. we got to start with first things first. Do we agree that truth is even a thing? Because today there's a real attack on what truth even is. Like, well, that's true for you, but not for me. We get through that. Then what the Bible is and what do we, what do we say about the Bible? Then who God is and what is he like? Um, what is his creation like? The most interesting part of creation being humanity. At least I think so. Sorry, angels. <laughs> Um, then after that, sin, salvation, the church, and last things. And the classics said, if we, if we do, it's helpful for us to go in that order. And I think even a single conversation has shown you, let's try to talk about salvation, but if we don't believe the same thing about the Bible, it might be a challenge. That doesn't mean you should go back and, and run this play. Just be, be this person's friend. And try, mm -hmm. you know, try to interact. Probably better than all the explanations, although the explanations are important. I'm not trying to downplay the explanations. The strongest thing is probably just loving that person. Mm -hmm. That combined with a sincerity, and you, you guys are here, so you're putting effort into learning these things. That's a winning, that is a winning formula. But it takes time to be sure. Mm -hmm.